we're doing them we're on our probably fourth bee removal so far this year and uh this one's a pretty neat one they had bees a year or two ago they were in a little overhang and the last guy that came out uh, did a real good job they were uh, pretty easy to get to drop a drop a board they were right there well he uh the homeowner didn't fill that void space up with insulation and because he didn't fill up the void with insulation the uh bees came back but they ended up coming back behind a, a, a brace board so now we're gonna have to go in on the side and uh we're gonna have to get them out that way but anyhow this is gonna be a fun eventful day i hope you enjoy this and uh, don't forget you know the same old youtube stuff like subscribe uh ring the bell uh but man we're fixing to start cranking out some videos so uh let's get to the work this is my camera girl for the day she's gonna be holding up the camera we'll call her the camera crane that's what that's what she'll be she'll be the crane i'm gonna pass the camera to her and go from there and there they are um they're actually going in here but i think they're actually more over to this side of the void and uh right up in under here this is where they were before they pulled that down but there's a brace board somewhere right in here what's really interesting is is they've been here long enough to expand comb into the basement and i'll end up having to go in the basement to get some of this um i'm just glad they got ceiling tile but the only the only route we can go to was to come out through the band board i'm hoping to loosen this board out where i can just take this one off we're probably going to shortcut it i mean getting getting to them is uh going to be pretty interesting whenever you do this your job as a remover or if you're trying to find one is to have confidence that the person that you're using is going to cost you the least amount of repairs all right one is done this is like the gift that keeps on giving look at this full of ants i mean like seriously i've already seen two roach bugs come out of here full of ants in fact the bees are starting to get pissy i'm probably gonna end up having to light the smoker on this one um i don't normally light smokers so this is mm, ants god I hate ants all right you see how, how how bad the traffic was on there so i'll give them a minute and uh let them chill out and then we'll pull that board off all right so right here is going to be a uh, that's going to be one of those connectors for the uh, support board going across there so this should be another one as far as I can tell the bees are going to be right here all right we got our cuts made and I'm about to pull the board off but uh, sadly it's come down to this I had to put a suit on um, there was a lot of beating and banging on this and sawing and everything else and well I figured two things would happen here. One is, as I would reduce the amount of yappy I'm about to get. And two, I look better when you can't see me as well. So, uh, you know, two birds, one stone. But anyway, let's, uh, let's pull this off together. What do you think? There it is. There it is. And check this out. There's my band board going that way. There's the support board going that way put that right where it needed to be lucky 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 um we'll take and trim that up just a little bit and uh we'll start vacuuming bees here in a second what do you think man are y'all i mean this thing this thing is so flipping prime to swarm it ain't even funny but that's pretty cool our, our combs are going sideways so there's one two three four five six seven eight there's ten and they're 16 inches deep um pretty cool and then there's some there's a another joist behind here and on the back side of that they are uh actually gr have built underneath it and i'm gonna have to go in the basement and get some more out but uh there they are look at this look at this right here there's your queen cell how many more we got in here all right let's see what we got are they working it no nope. nothing in that one color this comb 
that's telling me that stuff's been here probably since at least last spring so uh, it's not it's not chocolate black but it's it's definitely getting caramel black brown so uh, hmm, pretty cool all right let me clean this up and uh, let's start removing some bees so that's kind of where we're at and uh, this is a lot deeper than what I actually thought it was gonna be there's some extension comb that I was telling you about that I'll have to get from downstairs well the problem is is it goes back to that 2 by 4 goes back to that 2 by 4 and goes underneath it but then behind the 2 by 4 There's another void back in behind there, and then it goes down again. So long story short is, I got a bunch of pissed off bees. I got comb full of honey and a lot deeper than what I expected, and it goes behind and under a two by four. So we're on the down slope side. That's where the comb was at. You can kind of see some of the scrapings up there. Uh, these two pieces were hard to get. That's why we had to come down through here. But the problem is, is that I've got to pull that ceiling tile off and get behind one of the boards because I already know where the queen's at. There's another joist right here. And there's about three pounds of bees on the back side of that. Boom. We, uh, we got the bees run back far enough to get them uh, off the comb. Thought we were doing pretty good. And then all of a sudden, they were gone they vanished and they weren't all in my bee box so i had to figure out where they were going this is some of the extension that i told you that come underneath the the board and I'm telling you somewhere in that pile is a queen so i'm gonna get to vacuum and see if we can't find her and uh if i do if i don't vacuum her up i'll grab her up and i'll show it to you 